Thank you. Hey, people are ordering white wine. I got show and tell today. Ooh. I found this amazing book in an op shop and it's called A Student's Handbook of House Whiffery. Oh. Hang on, before you open it, can I try something? Yeah. I've always wanted to do this. <laughs> ah, damn it. <laughs> It's hilarious because not only is it a real book, mm -hmm. a real person has read it and underlined like the important parts. Like they've gone through the table of contents and gone, Isn't oh yes, I need to know about floor coverings, how to clean electrical equipment. It's funny because mum was telling me the other day when she used to go to a, um, like a pub with dad, there was like a women's room. Yeah, the, the ladies back. lounge. They didn't go to the bar. No, they weren't. I don't think they were allowed to even order their own drinks in a front bar of a pub. Okay, well. Jeez, I went to uni with you when you were a trailblazer in that respect, I can tell you. You could go to the um, ladies' lounge and talk with other ladies and you could have a Pim's, Pim's fruit cup. Oh, like at the tennis? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it doesn't sound so bad. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who, who does want to hang around in a bar with a group of boorish drunk men? And, and I think if you did, you were considered a bit of a hussy. Yeah, oh yeah, loose. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So do you want to see what we've been doing wrong all our lives when it comes to house whiffery? Yeah, well, well yeah? yeah. Well, the first thing is, which I loved, it's actually, this is just the best book. Like, there's a whole chapter on dust, right? And it there's floats, all the things... But only for a certain length of time, <laughs> as it is heavier than air. And finally, it settles on flat surfaces. Surfaces, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. But I didn't know that that was a huge problem. <laughs> Apparently, that's a big problem, enough to have a whole book about it. You don't it. dust pictures, do you? I don't dust anything. Do people still dust? <laughs> this is a tea tray where there are two methods of laying a breakfast table. Mm -hmm. What are they? <laughs> well, well, someone's cooked a meal. I love this. This is sometimes known as the formal breakfast. And that's what you pop down mm -hmm. when your guests are expected to arrive within a minute or two of the breakfast gong. <laughs> are there enough breakfast gongs in your life? <laughs> but see, I guess I guess if you've got a gong, it it, it sort of um, motivates you to serve a good breakfast. Because that's true. Yeah, you're I not going to gong it for like rice bubbles from Aldi, are you? <laughs> now the other thing that I just thought was amazing was while we're, while we're on this while we're on this feminist sort of slang yeah. here, I just wanted to ask you, um, as a woman, mm. or are you a girl? That's one thing. Oh no no no! Don't say girl. You're not a lady. No, I think there's a, yeah, no, you're right. I think the, both of those can be like a bit, I'll say pejorative just because we're having a let's feminist. Just, <laughs> let's just say, right, I want to pay you a compliment because yep. I think you're attractive and they're, you know, you know, like, I don't know, there might be some, I want to sort of test the waters or whatever. Yeah. Would you prefer I said you were a cute girl or an elegant lady? Oh my God. No, but I mean, Are it's these a my field, only two it? options? <laughs> Modern life is rapidly eliminating isolation. Don't think she got that one right. That's like the guy who was like, you know what, there's a world need for like six computers. So what's your takeaway? We've come, we've come a long we've way. We've come a long way. Yeah. That's what we should call this, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and we've got a lot like better appliances. That's something. <laughs> she didn't have that vacuum cleaner that just automatically goes around. No, no Roomba. Yeah. God, I want a Roomba. Yeah. But I did hear a story once where someone had a room bar and a dog. And if you leave a dog alone for a long time and it needs to go to the toilet, a room bar will spread dog poo all over your room. God. Then. And you'd been eating these around the same age. Sweet Valley High when I was a kid. Did you read anything? Garfield and Footrock Flats, I think was pretty much it. <laughs> that was always in the toilet at my house. 